It's that time. The weekend is upon us. The season starts for Leicester City. We take on Coventry at the King Power on Sunday. But there's some bad news before we get going. Smash the like, people. Hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 18k. No, we're not really. We're close, but not close enough. Get those likes up, people. Come on. Here we go. Now then, how are we all doing? Let me know how you are feeling about the season coming up. Do you think Leicester will get promoted? Do you think we might just scrape into the playoffs or worse? Let me know. Right, Leicester City are still getting to the bottom of Connor Cody's foot injury. Um, he could potentially be out for a few weeks. He's not going to be available for the game against Coventry. Now... I'll get into that in a second, but more importantly, Moresca's also stated that he's potentially in line to be captain. Connor Cody is in the line of captaincy, so we'll get into that in a second. But there's another player out too. Moresca has just mentioned that Christensen will be out. Don't understand why yet. Again, I will delve into this live. I'm literally reading this right now as it's coming in thick and fast. So, uh, the summer uh, signing of Conor Cody limped off during a behind closed doors, as we know, against King Power's sister club. Um, that was about two weeks ago. Uh, and he's not trained since, apparently. So, it's not looking like he's going to make his competitive debut against Coventry this weekend. Uh, nor any of the matches following. Because we've got a little bit of a busy schedule. We've got a League Cup game, don't forget, midweek two on the Wednesday. So, we'll be trying to do some watch-alongs through, throughout. Um, I've no idea how we're going to cover the Championship yet. I'm still trying to work the kinks out. But until then... Um, that is a big blow to Maresca. Um, he's, I think he's shaping the team around Connor Cody, I think, the former Wolves man. Um, and like I just said, I think he was contended to be captain. So I don't know where we stand with that now. Um, it's looking like, I suppose, time will tell. Uh, Maresca says, we are still waiting to see how he improves. Then we can finally have an idea about the time. That's why we don't know the time, because we are still analysing his situation. Since day one, we built the idea around new players, and Connor was one of them. Since day one, we built the idea about Connor being there. It's such a big shame. Uh, not only uh, because he's a good player, and because since day one, uh, it's, it's just one of those things. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's happened. But he is a leader, and... He's talking to everyone. He seems to be the group uh, leader, is what Moresco is saying. At the end, when you have these kind of players on the pitch, it's a boost um, for, for the rest of the team and myself, the manager. Um, there's better news coming from uh, Leicestershire Live is that Jamie Vardy, Dennis Pratt and Walt Fars, who all missed their final pre-season friendly against Liverpool um, in Singapore uh, last Sunday, are fit to take on Coventry at the King Power. That means that as well as obviously Connor Cody out and Victor Christensen out and Alex Smithies is also out, but I don't think he was going to get a, a look in, to be quite honestly. Anyway, um, Maresca said that Dennis is fit, Walsh is fit, Jamie is fit, Victor is not. Uh, he's injured, but he could be with us within the next few days. So Christian looks like he's going to be returning in the next few days. There is your update on the Leicester team news. Now, I do want to show you a little something that I have put together You for the members and people that actually come in onto the live. We made some new graphics, um, and I want to show you guys our new uh, full screen, uh, lineups full screen. This will be our new lineups full screen graphics for the watch along. That's just a demonstration, as well as our watch along graphics. We've got a, a 
bit of a new player circles made and uh, we are ready to go uh, for the watch along so i'm hoping that you guys like the new sort of layout that we've got uh, and everything else if you've not seen the channel lately we've got some new graphics behind me uh, new player circles to my left and uh yeah it's looking good um but going back to it uh oh going back to it sorry about that going back to it basically three players out two important players smoothie is not so important i don't think he's going to get a look in behind um pardon me everson ward and our new goalkeeper i don't even know did he get number one I don't think he did. I think Ward got Dan Danny Ward got num the number one shirt. The numbers are out. Steffi Mavadidi got number ten too. So I'll have to have a, a, a catch up on the uh, on the shirt numbers. But uh, Mads, as I like to call him, I don't think he got the number one shirt. I'm sure it was Danny Ward. Uh, I'll check in a bit anyway. But thank you all for coming in. I shall see you on Sunday for the game against Coventry at twelve o'clock. Uh, we'll be live from about eleven. 40-ish, hopefully, unless there's anything else going on on Sunday. Hopefully not. Um, until then, people, make sure you smash the likes on the video. Leave a comment in the chats about what you think about Leicester's season, as well as the injury updates. I want to hear from you guys. And uh, don't forget to find me on socials. All of my socials are in the description, except the new threads. I am over on threads as well. It's the same handle. It's at Lee underscore Chappie. It's the same. So go and find me on there too. We're closing on 24K on TikTok now, people. We're going to be live on TikTok. We should be live on YouTube all at the same time, as well as Twitch as well. We are on Twitch. We don't use it much, but we are on there too. In a bit. I'll see you then. Ta-ta. Queen.